Love entertainment. Love news. Love randomness. This is Galaxy. The following program is rated 13. Here we go! Serving the universe! Welcome back, amigos. We apologize for not doing an episode in about three weeks, because, well, it's a pretty long story. But what's important is that we're back in business, so let's kick off the show. And now, kick off your Friday with the latest news from the G4 Fevers and outside of it. This is your text-to-speech podcast, Rothelcast, with the Microsoft thing. Capital Welcome to Friday. And welcome to another episode. How is everyone doing today? Pretty good. What about you, Mike? Never better. Will you promise not to be violent again? I promise, Wally. So yeah, Galaxy Radio may have changed schedules for both Chubcast and Boomerang Days, but we are still here airing every Friday, keeping you up on the latest in the world of Dave Madsen and some other stuff. Now... We would like to show you a song that Alex Chapman made using the Sumo app, and we thought we could give you a chance to listen to it. Wow. That actually sounds really cool. This should be perfect for some G4P TV videos and other stuff. Exactly. But let us know in the comments what you think about it. Oh yeah? Well, watch this. Now that's loot. Imagine if this was the new sense and loves theme tune. Now it's the alternative. Alright, enough wake music, so let's just move on to the other topics. I'm sure you heard this already. But TG1994's Big Brother is returning for Season 2 next Monday. Yup, that's right. Season 2 is nearly here, and we will have a new house, new housemates, new twists, and a new presenter who will join alongside Michael. Oh boy, I'm so hyped for the new season. And among the new housemates are our very own Chuck Bird, Rock, and Vanna Glamour who is currently presenting Boomerang Days at the moment. I have no idea what is going to happen in the first episode, but production will begin today and will premiere next week. Yes, we are doing premieres videos again, but not as commonly as usual, because we don't want Tommy Tonka to bite our heads off about over-premiering. Could we not mention this guy again? Sorry, Mary. But anyway... Logo ID Studios is having a new director soon, and Apollon Stropoles is determining who the new director will be. So, in Universal Television Logo Bloopers 229, Blooper Idol, me and Mackenzie tested out their directing knowledge in the election race. I was already experienced with directing the Universal Television Logo since the very beginning, so I'm not that new to it. But let me show you how the results are going as of the time this video was produced. 
Currently, McKenzie has 24 votes with 53.33% of the majority, and I only have 21 votes with 46.67% of the majority. Crap. If McKenzie wins, she would likely become the first director in Logo ID Studios to be a woman. Yeah, and let's hope she won't be a control freak, as I was. But it's not just Logo ID Studios that is going to have a new director. Chuck Cast is having a poll to determine who will be Kiff's replacement, who died last month in a tragic shooting. The candidates include Brandy Harrington, Candle Fox, and Molly McGee. The new presenter will be revealed next Sunday when one of those candidates gets the winning vote. But anyway, let's do some Q&A, because we haven't done one in a while. I hope there are good questions this time. Alright, let's do this. Duty CH asks, any thoughts on TPOT 11? It's great. Of course it's great, because I literally watched the whole episode, while eating popcorn. Movie experience much? Sailor Moon Twilight Sunset asks, we got news. Inside Out 2 came out. Aren't you happy about this movie? Yes, of course we are. We know about movie releases and trailers. Question 2. About Microsoft Mike. I think he has got a bad case of Chikondrolosa. Chikondrolosa? That joke is so old. How old was it? So old that the prince told that to the unicorn. Question 3. MeTV Tunes is about to be launched. You ready for it? Actually, it's already here. But yes, it's great to watch classic cartoons again. Question 4. What's your opinion on Kiralko Logo Bloopers 5 I made? I haven't seen it yet, but I might, after this video is over. Question 5. Did you ever see air on ABC? Um. No. The following questions are from Pixel Noob Keb 55 Because the last time I tried to ask them for him, Mike deleted his comments while he was still violent, so I'm going to try again. But anyway, Sam, what is your reaction to Kev Chitterly as death? It's one of the most upsetting things to ever happen since Anne's death. Like, why the hell would PJ Adventure Vlog organize that? What Orange Fiona did was completely unacceptable, and she what should- What did you just say? Are you talking about Kif Bloody Chatterley again? Oh for crying out loud! Not this again! I thought we had the anti-BJ adventure vlog law imposed! Screw the anti-BJ adventure vlog law. What Chuck and his staff did against him is a violation of free speech. Now listen. Make Anna the female leader of the Microsoft gang. How many times do we have to tell you? We are not listening to your demands because we don't care about BJ Adventure Vlog. This crisis is already over. It will only end until you meet his demands. Like that's ever gonna happen. Now clear off. Or what? What are you going to do about it? I'll stick a knife to your chest, that's what I will do. Oh hell. <coughs> Phew. Thanks. Prince Otani, Dr. Phil. You saved us all from that crazed protester. Now let's continue. Question 2. Mike, have you played EAFC 24? I did, but I didn't unlock Cristiano Ronaldo yet. Silly! Question 3. Mary, when are you going to get married? To be frank, I really don't know. Question 4. Anna, what instruments can you play? The only instrument that I can play is the cello. Because it makes me peaceful. I wanted a watermelon smoothie, though. We found ghosts about theirs. <laughs> Damn it, Lou. You just ruined my peaceful cello routine. Oh joy, Lady Bird Lou strikes again. Question 5. Scotty, what is your opinion of spice things such as spizzy, spicy cam and jumbo spice? I never watched them before, but all I know is that they are fire. 
Phantom Hunter, or Phantom Dude, or Sorcerer or Dude, or whatever his name is, because those YouTube handles suck. Uh, 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 asks, what's your favorite adult cartoon? Aqua Team Hunger Force, because I never stopped watching it. Mine is The Simpsons. And mine is Samuel Guy. Question 2. What's your favorite DC superhero? My favorite superhero is Superman. And mine is Batman. PRM. What? Question 3. Do you guys think that CN is dead because of their viewership and also air Teen Titans Go? Even though they don't air too much now. We all get that, but what about regular show and adventure time coming back with new series? It could be an improvement, but I don't know. Overall, I'm happy to see adventure time and regular show coming back, not to mention Foster's Home for imaginary friends having a preschool spin-off. Question 4. Did you guys know that Plankton from SpongeBob is making a cartoon? Wait, is this true? Let me look that up. A few moments later. Boom, yo. I got it. On June 6, 2024, it was announced on Twitter that the film would be released in 2025. The first picture of the film was released, and that Spock would be appearing in the movie. That same day, the movie was officially confirmed to be titled Plankton, the movie and that Dave Needham would be directing it. Well guys, it's official. Plankton is getting his own movie in 2025 next year. Yellow. Question 5. Do you like old memes? Yes, because they are way better than the ones we have now. I'm pretty much unsatisfied with the current memes like the god-awful Skibbity Toilet, Jedda Jedi Jedda Jedda Go, Quandale Dingle, and more. Question 6. Hey Mike, can you please get help? And everyone, stop calling Mike a peasant after what he did was going out of control. Yeah, please stop calling me a peasant, because it's not fun anymore. Seriously, just leave me alone. Question 7. Do you think Nickelodeon is basically like modern Spongebob and the Loud House? Basically, they air the same cartoons for a long time. But at least we got a fun rock paper scissors cartoon to watch though. The last question comes from La Jacob. What do you guys think about my DDLC series, Doki Doki Night Club? It's... Okay... I guess... Anyway, submit more questions in the comments below and we'll have Rafa Robot to answer them, for you. Now, with that out of the way, it's time for the G4 Beavers News. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's good to be back after what felt like a three-week summer vacation. Bluey. But anyway, here are the latest news. G4PTV's PBS Bloopers episode 22 is due to be released later today. Actually Harvey, that episode is delayed until next week, because we want to concentrate on the director election results. Oh Sinker. Oh well, I guess we'll have a TEG1994 video filling in its place instead. But anyway, the new episode of Russell City will focus on the aftermath of the explosion in Soap's Mansion and some new characters like Mandy Summers and Mindy Labyrinth from TEG 1994 may likely debut. The script is currently being worked on and will come out at whatever date. But yes, Russell City is being released more commonly now, because the last time an episode was released was extremely rare, as if the show didn't exist. But anyway, that is all for now. Thank you, Harvey. I didn't know some TG1994 characters would join the G4 Beavers too. The whole thing about TG1994 characters visiting Logo ID Studios has been a thing since TG1994 was acquired back in October last year. But anyway, that's the end of this episode, and we'll see you next week for more stuff to talk about. We'll end the episode now by playing the same song you guys heard earlier. Anyway, we'll see you soon. Goodbye.
Legacy Radio is part of G4P Studios, and all content belongs to their respective owners. All rights reserved.